Gracias. Sweatband on. Mosquitoes are biting my head. Kenzie, stop it. Don't you touch it. Well, she puts her stinking hand in front of it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Come on, you can do it. Kenzie, go help your sister. Get out from in front of the camera. You know what you're doing. I know. Go help Caroline. Go help Caroline. Get no, over here. No, wait on your feet. Kenzie, go help. Yeah. Until about an hour and a half from now when it starts raining. Just that may be positive. Mm -hmm. Did it come through? See if you can pick it up. Not at this angle, because this is way out over it. So maybe if we switch sides, you'll see. Short. I'm trying to get the bottom wire. I gotta put down. The wire here.
All right, so basically here I just went ahead and uh, sped this up because it's just more of us fighting with the wire and trying to wrestle this stupid big roll around. We were struggling to get around this corner because the wire kept wanting to unspool and it was just heavy and everything about it really sucked. Um, but our goal here was we were trying to get it up on this little trailer that we have. And we thought if we could stand it up on the trailer, we'd be able to then walk the trailer down the fence line and spin the reel on the trailer as we walked, spin it vertical. Uh, so we wrestle around with it some more and some more and some more and uh, probably stop and cuss at each other for a while. Not really at each other, mostly at the situation. Okay, there we go. So we got it stood up and uh, then we'll start to pull it. See, the problem is it's it'll spin on the metal deck of the trailer pretty easy, but it also starts to walk itself off the side of the trailer. So we made it about uh, about 10 feet and uh, then we gave up on that. That turned out to not be such a great idea. So we wrestled it back around trying to get it squared up on the trailer and uh, then discussed it for a while and decided that was a stupid idea too. It wasn't going to work, although it gave me a great idea for a future uh, little farm wire cart that I want to build. Um, so yeah, we decided this wasn't going to work. We hatched the next plan, and uh, here in a bit you'll see we decided to heck with it, and we just went ahead and <laughs> knocked it down and rolled it out. The hardest part was just getting around the corner. Now we're around that corner, so now we can just throw it down and uh, roll it out down the length of the fence like we did on the last run. Yep. Again, trying to square it up so it doesn't kill us. Oh, oh, there we're hung up on a little branch on the tree. Get it off the branch. There we go. Done. <laughs> All right. We figured it out that we invert it. I can get around this post. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I'll measure. As long as I can get around this post, it's all that matters, right? Oh, wow. Got it. I just get that wagon out of there. Got it. Just as the rain starts, we're, uh, we're about a foot short to get to our post here. But we've got, excuse me, several feet of slack over there and on each corner, so we'll more than make it up to get here when we pull things tight. So, wow, that was... That was a serious workout. I do not wish that upon anyone to try to roll out box wire through that swampy crap that we just did. So y'all take that lesson at our expense. How about that? I'll, I'll give that to you for free. Actually, I just realized we strung this out on the outside of the posts and everywhere else we went to the inside of the posts. So we might have to pick this end up, take it up over the post, but that won't actually be as difficult as it sounds. Oh, yes, sir. That was tough. <laughs>